Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions at the Garden of Hope. It's a beautiful day today. Our prayer request, David requests for peace in the world. Pray that all people get along with each other and stop gun violence forever. Kara Hamill is losing sight in one eye due to macular degeneration. Barbara Acker's on a two-week heart monitor because of her dizziness. And Kathy Mulligan would like to thank the Lord for giving her excellent test results on her appointment. And tweets, her cyst was gone when they did test on her. Amen. Logan's MRI showed no torn ligaments. He has to have therapy next. And uh, Sherm Crabtree, he's... Uh, I don't know if he's already having therapy, but he's doing pretty good uh, since his surgery. And White Lily has an MRI uh, Tuesday. I think I have this over a little too far. That might be a little better. Okay. Our Bible reading comes from Joshua 10, 6 through 15. The Gibeonites then sent word to Joshua in the camp at Gilgal. Do not abandon your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us. Help us because all the Amorite kings from the hill country have joined forces against us. So Joshua marched up from Gilgal with his entire army, including all the best fighting men. <coughs> The Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hand. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. After an all-night march from Gilgal, Joshua took them by surprise. The Lord threw them into com confusion before Israel. So Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely at Gideon, Gibeon. Israel pursued them along the road up to Beth Horan and cut them down all the way to Az. Kai and Machadah. As they fled before Israel on the road down from Beth Horon to Ezekiah, the Lord hurled large hailstones down on them, and more of them died from the hail than were killed by the swords of the Israelites. On the day the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel, Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel, Sun, stand over Gibeon, and you moon over the valley of Ajon. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the nation avenged itself on its enemies. That is it's written in the book of Jashar. The sun stopped in the middle of the sky and delayed going down about a full day. There was never, there has never been a day like it before or since, a day when the Lord listened to a human being. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. Then Joshua returned with all Israel to the camp at Gilgal. Hi, birdie. Little birdie over there. Our devotion today is entitled Help from Heaven. SOS, the Morse code signal, was created in 1905 because sailors needed a way to indicate extreme distress. The signal gained notoriety in 1910 when used by the sinking ship, Steamship Kentucky, saving all 46 people aboard. While SOS may be a more recent invention, the urgent cry for help is as old as humanity. We hear it often in the Old Testament story of Joshua, who faced opposition from fellow Israelites in challenging terrain. For more than 14 years, as the Israelites slowly conquered and settled in land God had promised them, during this struggle, the Lord was with Joshua. In Joshua 10, the Israelites go to the aid of the Gibeonites allies of Israel who were being attacked by five kings. Joshua knew that he needed the Lord's help to defeat so many powerful enemies. God responded with a hailstorm, even stopping the sun in the middle of the sky to give Israel more time to defeat the enemy. Joshua 10:14 recounts, Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. If you are in the midst of a challenging situation, you can send out an SOS to God. Although help will look different than the assistance Joshua would have received, 
perhaps help comes through an unexpected job, an understanding doctor, or peace in the midst of grief. Be encouraged that these are ways he is responding to your call for help and fighting for you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. And please help all of them, and it's good to hear uh, good reports too, Lord. And help anybody else out there that needs help. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you later on.